Ayo, the keys, Andy Lippy here, back with another stream up video, and this is the Final Fantasy VII inspired alerts that we released already, but we've actually updated it to work with the stream up OBS plugin, so it's even easier to install. Not just that, but it is available for the on board and streamer bot so it's completely up to you which you want to use for what you want to do all that kind of jazz it's going to be so easy to install we're going to go through it and uh, get it all set up for you guys all right put your rock to the stone let's go Right, so first up, we need to get it downloaded. So you can get it from the streamup.tips website just here. It is available right now. It's got all the prerequisites and the links just here. As you can see, you can click on these to download it. And they're bundled in the um, the actual release as well. So you can just open the web pages really easily. Uh, instructions for Leoran Board and StreamerBot are both here as well. So if you want to follow them along as well as this video, you're more than welcome to do as well. So to get it downloaded, we just press get it now for free because it is free but it's completely up to you how much you want to pay for it if you want to support the stream up team well not actually the team is actually just stream up as a whole then consider just doing a dollar or so uh, it does go a long way it'll help us develop the obs plugin and obviously other plugins and extensions as well in the future so i'm just gonna press zero for now and we're just gonna press get now this is gonna take us to the download page for final fantasy 7 alerts which press checkout obviously if you are doing a dollar it'll actually just sign in with like paypal or something uh, we do view content and it, at the top it'll ask us to download so i'm just going to download it just there um, here's one I made earlier we're gonna go to show in folder and it is just here so we're just gonna unzip it I'm just gonna copy it to my desktop for now right there and then uh, I'm just gonna press skip because I've already got it on the desktop which is all good and then once that's done we're ready to get it all installed so let's show you how to do it with streamerbot so with streamerbot it doesn't really matter where you put the um, oops, where, where you put the actual folders, but I have got a little folder that I've created in my documents and then in stream up stuff just here as you can see I've got other products in there already you got um, different things there and um, in this folder you'll see that we've got all the information we need we've got to download and install these first so make sure they are all installed before you even open obs or anything like that otherwise this is not going to work properly okay uh, for some reason if you've got any issues just delete the scene uh, that it's created and then you can restart obs and it'll it'll start working again after you've installed them so we're going to be using the StreamerBot install just here, okay? Again, you've got the installation instructions too. So the StreamerBot install is just a little text file, okay? So let's get it all set up in OBS so we're ready to go. So we're going to head up to Tools in OBS and go down to StreamUp. If StreamUp's not there, you've not got the StreamUp plugin installed correctly. So we're going to go to the Documents folder wherever we saved it to. Mine's in StreamUp stuff. And then I've got Final Fantasy 7 Alerts. And inside there, you will have a .streamup file. We're just going to double click that. It's gonna look like it's not done anything, but if we scroll down the scene list, you'll see I've got a stream up alerts, Final Fantasy VII, and a ton of different sources in there ready to go. Nothing will be on screen, they're all just blanked out right now, but now we can go to Streamerbot. So you need to be on version 0.1.3 um, and above. It will tell you in the top left if you need to update. So we're gonna right click on, on the actions tab, we're gonna right click on the left hand side and press import. And this is where we can get that text string. So if we open up the file that we had previously, we can either drag and drop it, like so, or if that's not worked for you, you can double click it and just select all this text that just looks like just garbage, and we're just gonna paste it directly into there. It's just a text string, that's all it is. And we've got everything here ready to go. As you can see, you should see a load of different um, kind of importable actions here. And then we're just gonna press import. So that's going to create a group in here ready to go and it, these are all different actions just in here for depending on what it is like a sub or everything like that. So to get that set up now we go to settings and then we are in here so you'll see in the events tab and then under general you've got follows. So if you scroll select the box and scroll down and go to Final Fantasy 7 and follow and just select that. Same for cheers go to action. And then the cheer one, which is the next one down, we've got sub. And in here, we've got three different, well, four different tiers because we've got uh, Twitch Prime as well. So we're going to do action. And you guessed it right. We're going to press sub prime. 
change this to tier one, go to tier one, tier two, guess what we're going to, tier two, and then finally tier three, we're gonna go to tier three. Go to resub, and then in the same thing again, we're gonna go Twitch Prime on this section, and we're gonna select Prime. Tier one, we're gonna press T1, we're gonna do T2, and finally T3, just like so. Gift sub, we're gonna select the action just here, which is sub gift. Then we're gonna go gift bomb, and we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna select gift bomb. Raid, guess what we're gonna pick? We're gonna pick raid, that's right. And then we're gonna go host, and we're gonna press host just there. So then you probably want to do your donations as well. So it depends if you're using Streamlabs or Stream Elements, okay? Because you need to connect your token for both of them, okay? And once you've got that done, for whichever one you're using, you go to either Streamlabs and go to Donations, go down and you'll see we've got Donation Streamlabs or Donation Stream Elements. I'm going to be using Stream Elements for this example. So I'm going to go to Stream Elements and choose Donation Stream Elements like so. And that's it, we're all set up, ready to go. Now, if I just drag this down, everything's connected in the OBS tab. So we're gonna right click and press connect, make sure we are connected, because that does help, right? And then we're gonna go to settings again, events, and then you'll be able to see if I press, say, follow and do test, I'm gonna zoom out, it'll start animating on screen and test that message just there. Same for cheers, if we do a test, say 69 bits, you'll see bits comes on, Ready to go like that. Now we need to put this scene onto whatever scene we want the alert on. So I'm going to choose my just chatting scene. As you can see, we're on my just chatting. We're going to add a source. So we can either right click and press add, or we can press this little plus sign at the bottom. And then we're going to go to scene. And then the scene we're going to add, we're going to scroll down to stream up alerts FF7 just there. Press OK. And it won't look like it's done anything because we, we can't physically see any alerts on there because it's invisible at the moment. But if I press test, you'll see, here it is. I can move it anywhere I want on the scene. It's completely up to you. You can resize it as well. So if I wanted it really small, like so, I can do it. If I test it again, you'll see it's just there. And you'll probably see this cheeky little thing. Stay tuned. That's going to be coming soon, all right? And that's how to get it all set up in StreamerBot. Let's take a little look on how to do it in Leorenbord. So getting it in Leorenbord, we need to take the initial stream up Final Fantasy VII uh, alerts folder just here. And we're just going to copy that. And we're going to navigate to your Leorenbord folder, wherever you've got Leorenbord stored. So in Leorenbord, and then go to Leorenbord receiver, and then go to ext. And we're just going to paste it directly into here, all right? I'm just going to delete this old file. And we'll paste it in and you'll see stream up alerts just here um, and that's ready to go so if we open that you'll see we've got all the files and stuff we need downloading all these like we, we do to make sure the plugins are, are there and available ready to go and we need to get everything installed so if we go to tools in obs and then go to stream up we need to now navigate to that folder that we were previously in. So that was in Leorenbord, Leorenbord receiver, ext, and then we should have wherever it is, stream up FF7 alerts. Open that and open the stream up file. So it's gonna look like nothing's really happened inside of uh, OBS, but if we go down on the scene, You'll be able to see we've got a Final Fantasy VII scene with a ton of different sources just here ready to go. It'll just look blank on screen. That's absolutely fine. If we open up the Board now and go to install extension, make sure you are on version 1.44 and above, all right, guys? Otherwise, might have some issues. It's going to ask us to select the extension file. We just need to navigate back to that folder that we're in. So in the Board. Leon Board Receiver, EXT, uh, Final Fantasy VII Alerts, and Leon Board Install. And we're just going to double click the LBE file just here. It might ask you to select your transmitter, which is absolutely fine. So we just navigate to that same folder and just choose TSL underscore transmitter, okay? And it should create a deck just here ready to go. Connect back up to Twitch so it's all ready to go. And on here, you'll see a bunch of different things um that is just awesome okay so your follower alert is already set up your donation alert is already set up with donation alert you will need to have the extension already installed for doing donation alerts so that is available on the stream up website as well so if we open up the chrome and go to stream up tips you'll see the extension that i'm talking about 
is really useful is for um it's called stream triggers just here so as you can see this little thing will allow you to do all sorts of triggers and one of them is for tips and donations so make sure you've got that installed there is a video on how to install it and get that working as well otherwise your donations and tips will not work but everything else will so that's all set up in there so if we press done and we just press test uh, sub for instance you'll see it'll come on do a test sub and it works just like so if you've got the stream triggers plugin all ready to go you can test follow and you can also test tip so there we go you can see that all works again we can test raids there we go and we want to add that to another scene. So if we go to whichever scene we want to add these alerts to, say this one, and we're gonna just right click and press add, or you can press this little plus sign, go to scene, and then scroll down, find the stream up alerts, Final Fantasy VII, press okay. It's on screen, ready to go. We do another test, we'll do a test host this time. We can move this wherever we want it to be. We can resize it, do whatever you want with it. As you can see, you resize it, and there you go. It's all set up ready to go super easy as that like i say make sure you do have all the prerequisites installed otherwise you might have a couple of issues with things not working correctly if you do have any issues you can just delete the scene restart obs and then reinstall it again using the stream up um obs plugin as well so it, that's in case you forgot to add any shader filters or anything like that don't worry about it it's super easy to do uh, and that's pretty much it we have got a ton of different things as you saw there was a little sneaky uh, preview of something that is coming soon which is uh, final fantasy 7 inspired and that's like a welcome message slash a channel point redeemable that will basically type out people's messages on screen looks super cool it's going to be coming very soon so make sure you are subscribed for that if you want to support me then consider joining patreon or joining the channel members down below uh, it helps me make this content all the time because obviously it takes a lot long time and i've got to work and you know how it is all right and if you want to support stream up then consider joining patreon we have got a awesome couple of betas out at the moment that when you join patreon you can uh, definitely check that out but make sure you are joining the stream up patreon because i didn't make this one it's cards against humanity it's amazing all right put your own in the stone i'll see you in the next one much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.